So welcome back guys. Today we're going to look at installing RSM. So why would you want to even look at RSM? Um, first, bandwidth isn't everywhere. So RSM really is designed to sit out a remote site and basically do all the polling, all the management, all those kind of things that have to be done at the remote site and only send back performance data, reporting data to the main site. Right, which is a good thing. It, it saves you a lot on bandwidth if you've got dial on demand circuits, low bandwidth circuits, all that kind of stuff. Um, why else? Well, I'm uh, NAT, right? Um, not all the time do we have direct connectivity, right? So by allowing a direct connection using HTTPS, we can actually encrypt that data over SSL. And it also allows you to just, you know, tighten up security policy a little bit because now you only have to worry about a firewall rule allowing your, your external address of your RSM to the main IMC site, right? So that's, that's also a good thing. And then the last one is, well, mom taught me to share. You know, one of the other major benefits of RSM is that you have the ability to share licenses from your main IMC box and reallocate those on the fly. So with that, let's take a look. So here we are on a Windows 2012 box. Um, I have already downloaded the IMC RSM package, and this is a full install package. This actually looks a lot like installing the uh, main IMC. So we're going to go through. Um, of course, you can get this at hp.com slash networking slash IMC, full trial, all that good stuff. So when we click the install, the first thing it's going to ask is what is the URL for the main IMC site? So this is going to be your IMC, either with the 8080 if you've got the default. Um, I installed without the 8080, just straight on port 80, so um, no slash IMC. And we're going to put the username and password for the admin account for your main IMC box. Right, you don't have to use the admin account, but you need to make sure you have the privileges. Now you're going to get asked how many licenses that you want to allocate um, up to a maximum of 1,000 per RSM instance. So you can have up to 50 RSMs and 1,000 nodes per RSM instance. All right, so this uh, can definitely allow you to scale out um, quite a bit past the, uh, any of the limitations of a single box. So we're going to check out the ocean here as we wait for the install to complete. And this is just basically a uh, click next, right? Um, once we're through, we're going to get the J server process up. And now we're going to log into the main IMC site, right? So that is the same uh, IP address that I put in um, during the initial install. So I'm going to show you what this looks like from the main IMC site. So now we're going to go over to the uh, RSM here, where we get come in. And now you can see RSM is available, and we've got the remote site link. So we're going to click on this and this is going to take us into a place where we can see all of our remote sites. So imagine, again, we can support up to 50 here. This could be a long list. Um, you've got the IP address. This will take you to the RSM, um, how many licenses, the version, all that kind of stuff. So when we click on this, um, it may take a few seconds for it, depending on the bandwidth between you and your RSM agent to be able to come up to speed. Um, and basically, this is going to be the interface um, within a frame of pulling directly from the RSM instance. And you can see here we've got the resources, the performance, um, reporting configuration, ACL, VLAN, all those things that you would expect. And the nice thing about RSM is that the operator accounts are actually synchronized from the main IMC site. So I can log into the local RSM directly here. So I'm going to go to the IP address of the local RSM instance, not through the main IMC. And I can now get the uh, the same RSM interface on the local site. So if you have something that uh, goes down or you have people at the site and you, you lose connectivity to your, your main site, you'll still be able to get access. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.